Hello guys, I am finally doing another commentary video in me playing Rise of Nations and this time I'm going to be the Russian Empire and I'm going to be playing on the scenario that I've made again same map, map of Europe the difficulty is tough and I'm playing with seven other nations and so I'm just uh, starting the country like always doing these uh, basic things and stuff Nothing too special. Or yeah, I have this memorized by heart what to do. I don't really have to think about it. Just uh, do it automatically. Like Sometimes like your nation has some uh, bonuses that help out in the beginning. Like you have a little bit more food or you have the first like civics technology um, researched so it kind of helps you each nation has their own little different thing which kind of helps you out so I've decided to start building up here the my nation's uh, military defense structures because uh, you have to start worrying about that pretty early and here is Germany and France fighting it out sign an alliance with the French and I'm trying to be at peace some countries don't want to be at peace so I kind of just ask if they do sometimes they just ask you for something ridiculous like give us like 1500 gold to have peace and then they could immediately like declare war on you so it's not very good it's better to build an army on that money Looks like uh, Germany's having a hard time, and I think I'm gonna cancel its alliance with me because I want to be aligned to a strong country that can is gonna last. So I aligned myself with Turkey or Ottoman Empire, as they called it, and then they're sending their military to take over Italy. I'm doing pretty good right now. And here you see Britain constructing Colossus uh, Wonder, and I'm also constructing Colossus, so it's a race. Uh, the country that's going to construct it faster is going to get the Colossus, and the country's country that's not going to construct it fast enough is going to get it Wonder cancelled. So I just like rallied all my citizens up to construct it. And this is my army heading to invade Italy, because it's weak right now. It's being destroyed by my ally, Turkey, and I'm going to just you know take what I can from it so I ordered to attack Rome I mean that's how it works <laughs> and here's my army took Rome and I'm gonna try to take your capital this is my fleet it's being industrialized so I'm pretty powerful now With Russia, it's not that extremely hard to become very powerful because you start out kind of isolated and then you have a lot of resources and stuff. And you have a pretty powerful army, so... Although you do have to manage correctly to uh, get there. Because other countries are getting powerful by every minute. I don't know. Here I'm just building all these new things that come with the modern age and with information age. Uh, Turkey has canceled its alliance with me, so, so it's probably gonna attack any uh, in about five or ten minutes. So I'm gonna attack first. So let's do some planning. It's uh. It's very strong right now. It has a lot of s productive cities, and here is its capital. And I was lucky enough to build military installations right by its capital when I was an ally of uh, Turkey. So uh, it's going to be really awesome. Help me out. So I'm just going to go straight for their capital without have to, uh, you know, deal with a bunch of their defenses. And so, let the war begin. Now I'm at war with uh, 
one of the strongest countries on the map, Turkey. It's actually right behind me. And I just order everything I have. Just go to their capital and try to take it over. So I defeated um, Ottoman Empire slash Turkey, and now I'm gonna focus on just wiping off their last military units. And what's this? Uh oh! Looks like Britain is planning something. It's okay. That's why we have these uh, nuclear weapons for. Ah, boom. Now I'm really in like in a global war. I see that uh, Spain is uh, researching advanced science technology in this library, so I'm gonna uh, destroy it to cancel the research. see also that Spain has concentrated, concentrated their army right here, so I'm going to launch a nuclear weapon. And as soon as they detect it, they start to run, but it's too late. So they're without an army, again. That always happens to them, like in every scenario that I play. Now I'm gonna move my army to the last country on the map, Britain, to try to take it over. Look at this huge Russian army. There is their capital. As soon as I was about to reach their capital, they uh, moved it to another city. We're lucky enough to London, so I had to divert all my troops to take it. So victory for me, game time 1 hour and 14 minutes, uh, and my country can now enjoy everlasting peace, for now, there is Moscow. And uh, this entire map of Europe is mine. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, all these cities, it all belongs to me. Yeah. Um, so yeah, here are my statistics and this game. If you want to pause it and take a look at it or something, I don't know. Alright, thanks for watching.